Hi, I'm Kathleen Putnam with the UC San Francisco San Mateo County Master Gardeners, and we are going to summer prune the Santa Rosa plum. All right, so summer pruning is to control the size, and this tree has gotten too tall. If there's fruit up there, you can't reach it. You need a ladder. So we're going to bring it down. We're going to do a little bit of structural pruning, which you normally do in winter, but we're going to go ahead and do that now. So this tree is trained to be an open center. So I'm going to clean up some of these inside facing branches, and then I'm going to do some height control. So I'm cutting to the branch reach collar. And I practice chop and drop, <laughs> which is, I just uh, recently found out a permaculture um, concept that you just take what you're chopping and you drop it. So all these branches are facing inward. Okay, so I finished thinning out the interior and the open center is, you want it to kind of be like a martini glass or the more classic is how you prune your roses. Just think of this as a giant rose, and you want four or five really well-placed branches around the trunk and the center open so that sunlight can come in. I've left some smaller branches on the interior down below just to protect the trunk from sunburn. Okay, so now I'm taking down the taller branches that are, that are growing on the interior or facing inward. To reduce the height and then we'll deal with the the taller branches that remain okay so this branch here is really tall and I don't want to just cut it to nothing so I don't want to just do a heading cut like that because then we're just going to get wicked we're going to get witch's broom. We're just going to get like five dormant buds are going to break there. So rather than doing that, I'm going to cut right here to the branch ridge crawler and keep this branch and take this branch off. Perfect. See how that's the branch ridge crawler? Okay, so now we're going to start reducing the height, and I'm going to use my long-handled pruners. <coughs> and if you notice, I'm not, again, I'm not just going to do a heading cut, like cutting right there. I'm going to cut to an outward-facing bud. So I'm going to take this guy right, you can see that leaf, which indicates a bud. So I'm going to cut it right to there. You can't really see it on the camera, but right here is an outward facing fruiting bud. This is just up too high, so again, I'm going to shorten it to an outward facing bud. That guy's okay. I'm going to leave this stuff to protect the tree from sun damage. Here's a beautiful outward facing spot. Here's another outward facing. Outward facing buds are indicated by leaves. So you always want to cut to something. Okay, I finished. I brought the height down on the tree. Um, the sunlight will come in. We won't need to prune as much this winter. We may not need to prune at all this winter because winter pruning invigorates the tree and we really don't want this tree invigorated. And I do want to mention that when you, anytime you prune a tree, you're going to be taking off some, some potential fruit. And maybe Noreen could get a picture, but right here is a fruiting bud that I've removed. I took this branch off because it was way up high and we would have had to get a ladder to pick that fruit. 
So we have reduced the fruit production some, but we'll have bigger and better fruit because of it. Thank you for watching this video.